May I start by asking you, how many refugees can Turkey absorb? The reason why I ask is that Hungary, just a few days ago, claimed that a little more than 3,000 were maximum enough. Yes. It's enough, Orban said. What is your answer to my well, question? Well, we had the uh, political. Uh, we we have the political decision, and uh, for that reason, we are uh, we have the open door policy. It means that you know the, whoever need to come to Turkey, suffer over there, they may come, uh, and uh, we are hosting uh, the comers in uh, some uh, you know the safe havens, uh, the camps, temporary protection camps we are calling, not the detainee centers. Uh, the, there are 260,000 uh, refugees from Syria, some from Iraq and other countries, it totals around 300,000 in the camps. And we are providing shelter, not the shelters, these are the camps, tent uh, camps and uh, the uh, camps, you know, the uh, container camps, is the better. Uh, education, health service, food, uh, social activities and uh, they may also stay in the camp and they can find the job to work uh, in the nearest cities. And uh, it's uh, free to go and out, come and out uh, to camps. So they may stay in the camp if they wish or they may go uh, somewhere in Turkey. But it's free. that costs? Cost is uh, right now, last three years, total is about six billion dollars. And uh, we have registered 1.8 million uh, Syrian refugees only, and 260,000 of them in the camps, and the rest of them in the different cities. And we also provide them, uh, you know, they are in the, our healthcare system, free healthcare services they are taking, and free education they are taking. You came up with a question to the Secretary General of the, the United Nations, uh, Mr. Ban Ki-moon, when he was here. And you had a brilliant idea, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, that idea is uh, not my idea. That's the, on the uh, international, uh, one of the international journal uh, we aware. And we also introduced the professor who are dealing in that issues, and he's very positive in that uh, issue. Uh, Mr. Uh, I mean, Professor Goodwin Gill from Oxford University. He is also advisor uh, in United Nations about uh, refugee issues. Uh, and uh, the, the, the issue is that the frozen assets of Syria. Uh, you know, the, a lot of dictators in the regions. And if some conflicts appears in the uh, in the Middle East, you know the uh, the assets of that uh, countries, uh, you know the frozen, then no one using in some countries. So uh, these are the money or assets uh, belongs to the you know the people who lives in that country actually, and uh, it's, uh, that assets if frozen in some other countries and you know the using for nothing. It's not a good idea. What and are we talking about? What um, amount? That, that, that's the frozen assets um, is uh, sometimes billions of dollars, and uh, we may use that assets for in favor of uh, the needs of that people suffering. What was the answer for the Secretary of General? Uh, uh, we can say that he just sent to the touch a little bit. <laughs> oh, uh, when we solve the problem in the region, you know, the, we can think about that one. It means that nothing because, you know, the, if you solve the problem, that people would like to go back. Uh, they, 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 they need right now. Mm -hmm. exactly. So we have to take the initiative and we have to start somewhere. Mm -hmm. And for that reason, is. Uh, Council of Europe is very uh, In which proper way? institution. Uh, we, we are trying to uh, amend, uh, you know, the motion of resolution here about that frozen assets, and uh, we are go trying to do something in United Nations also. But can't you go directly to those country? Um, who are having those um, amounts in their banks? Yeah. Um, you said to what, what countries? Yeah, for instance, Switzerland. Yeah. That's I obvious. Don't, uh, I don't I, know. I, 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 I don't know either. I mean, maybe there, maybe in other countries also. I mean, but uh, the system knows where uh, where is that money, uh, or in which country, in which bank account. So you you are not having concrete no. ideas where no, those no, no, money no. are. No, no. But it it it, uh, it 
happened in the past, as I said, that during the Gulf War era, uh, the frozen assets of Iraq used for the people of uh, uh, Iraq. But the background of all these is a misery in the country, the fight going on between IS and uh, several groups yes. within the country. Very mixed situation. How do you foresee it to be solved? Oh, uh, it's a very complicated problem uh, in the region. And uh, how do you describe IS in which country? Because you know, the, if there's a lack of uh, you know the uh, authority, it started in Iraq uh, right after 2003. Then uh, it's merged in other countries like well, let's Syria. Let's focus on, on yeah. your neighbor, on Syria. Uh, in Syria, I mean, there is no border right now between Syria and Iraq. Uh, the, the only border is Turkey and, you know, the Lebanon, uh, Israel and Jordan, Iran, and Iran, the other side of the Iraq. So, uh, for that reason, it's a very complicated problem, and you cannot describe who is the member of that, uh, you know, the terrorist organization. And they are doing terrible things. Um, but we have to fight that. We have to solve the problem, and we have to look at why that problem appears. We are just looking to results, not the reasons. Reason is the, uh, the, the regime in uh, Syria. Reason was the regime in Iraq. So, uh, and what happened to Iraq? And, you know, there the, the, the were invasion and uh, right after the invasion, lack of authority, state authority, it's, it's happened. Finally, um, the situation in your country. Yes having no government at the moment. Oh, yeah. Is there is a government, don't, don't worry. <laughs> okay, that's not what I meant. But, but is it an issue which is taken up by uh, those parties who might form a coalition? Oh, uh, well, uh, you know, in the democracies, it's the way of the uh, government, I mean, the coalitions. It's not uh, as strong as the one party ruling governments, but uh, it's also the way. Uh, and the party is going to compromise. And uh, But can I, there be a compromise on this? On this issue, uh, we have to be, because it's a humanitarian issue. It's have you seen diff uh, different um, opinions yeah. within the party on yeah. this well, uh, issue? Uh, yes, uh, not only in the party, mostly the opposition parties use mm -hmm. that issues during the, you know, the election uh, period. In which way? Uh, we are going to send back, you know, the, all the Syrians because, you know, the, also our people need some money. On, I mean, we, if we spent, you know, that much money for the Syrians, uh, our people are suffering or something like that. But the, the, that people came to Turkey not just for fun. I mean, uh, be, be because, you know, the, they suffered a lot. They, they have, the, you know, the safety problems. And would you prefer, if I may add that question, would you prefer that those refugees living in your area are moving on further towards Europe? Well, let me tell you something. If we, if you provide some services like you know the health services, uh, education, and they don't want to move from their countries, they just staying at the border, on the border almost. So uh, we are providing them, and uh, I believe that Turkey is doing a very great job for. Europe, because you know, the, if we are not absorb that much people in Turkey, cannot provide education, health services, food, and job. Even uh, they, that two million people would like to move uh, European countries to find uh, for for, sur for for surviving. So, for this reason, uh, it is not only our problem; it's the problem for uh, all over the world. world especially the European countries because, you know, the, uh, they are also in the part of this game.